Is he feeding it? There we go. So I've been pulling buffalo grass for going on five years now um, and it began my very freshman year and the problem was brought to us with the amount of fires that have been going on in um, the Sonoran Desert. So basically what buffalo grass is, is it's an indigenous species that was brought over here I think in the early 1930s um, and it was used for cattle to graze on. Well they didn't realize the um, implications that this grass brings to the, such a, a dry climate that we have here in the Sonoran Desert. And so what buffalo grass does is it's dangerous and it's taking out um, species that are essential to um, wildlife here in the Sonoran Desert. It's, it's a silent killer and that there's not a large enough group right now that's paying enough attention to actually pulling the buffalo grass. Um, I think that it's going to take one tragedy to kind of open everybody's eyes to it, honestly, which I think is the most um, terrifying part. I think if you can get enough big time groups on board, whether it be um, groups on campus or different communities in Tucson, but I honestly think that it's going to take someone's life to be directly impacted by buffalo grass for it to, to start a movement that could impact the whole um, greater area of Tucson. Well, personally, I've been with the center since the summer of 2009. I'm a plant pathologist, and I have been working with um, you know plants for a long time. I actually started working with invasives on Mount Lemon. Well, the the reason for Beat That Buffalo Grass Day is to get the word out. There's no way we can get enough people on the ground to pull up all the buffalo grass that's out there. So essentially, it's a way to get media attention, to get information out to people, to start using you know channels to to bring awareness to the issue. Well, it, this is like everything else. If you get it on an invasive species when it first comes in, you have a lot better chance. At this point in time, we it's going to take a really great effort to get on top of it. We will never at this point in time get rid of all the buffalo grass that we have here. So what we're doing is we're, we're doing strategic planning on exactly where to put our efforts. Since we can't do it everywhere, we have to, to decide which of this landscape is special to us and how do we go about protecting the special places. There's two issues that are really, really important. One is that it is a detriment to our native landscapes if it grows and also if it causes fire. So those are the two issues. And the fact that it's a fire hazard is really, really important for people to know. It's, it's, it's life-threatening.